Hey guys, it's Baden here, aka Bades1. Um, a while ago, I made a video for Daniel Thomas, aka Pee Wee Toms. Uh, for those of you that don't know of him, he's a uh, UK YouTuber that deals with cancer and he um, vlogs about it. Um, he hasn't been making his regular videos for a while, unfortunately, and that is probably because he is at the moment in a hospice in the UK and he's not doing very well. Um, I really wish that wasn't the case. Like, I really wish that he wasn't dealing with that sort of thing. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, I had to cut for a second. Um, but yeah, this, uh, young man in the UK, um, has been dealing with cancer and, um, He's touched a lot of lives, you know, he's touched a lot of people. And at the moment he's struggling in hospice, you know, and he's not doing very well. Uh, hits me rather hard because I um, have been following this guy's journey. And I've been watching, I've been commenting, you know, I feel like I've been able to get to know the guy. Um, even though he might not know who I am, he might have seen my other video I did about him. He might be looking at all these videos that people are doing about him, but I'm not sure, you know, I'm, I'm not sure if he knows or not. Um, but there's a lot of people out there that do love him. I'm a part of the, those people that do love him, you know, and, um, it's quite tragic to see a young man of 30 something years old. Um, full of life, you know, wanting to live and fighting to the best of his ability, getting to the point where he's saying that he can't eat anymore and, um, you know, being in a hospice, lying in a hospice bed and having to have a Instagram video put on his Instagram page saying, oh, you know, I'm taking over Dan's... Instagram and YouTube now, you know, the fact that he has to give away his stuff to his brother and everyone else, it's like, I can't even imagine what's going on in his head right now, you know, um, but yeah, I, I do want to say to his family, we're all thinking about you, uh, everyone that follows Dan Pee Wee Toms, we're all thinking about the family. We're thinking about Daniel too, you know, we want him to be in peace. We don't want him to be in pain, you know, we don't want him to be suffering and feeling sick, but we also don't want to lose him, you know. It's a, it's a hard double-edged sword, isn't it, when you've got someone that you love dearly and, you know, I've been through this. I've honestly been through this whole hospice bit and I've been through it three times with three different people that I've loved um, and they all passed and it was it was not nice, it wasn't pretty, it wasn't good, it didn't look good uh, but we were there by their side and we were there to give them support and love and as much comfort as they needed when they needed it the most. Um... And so I understand what it's like. I understand well, well enough what it's like to lose someone um, in hospice and to go through that whole grueling process of sitting there multiple nights, staying up and not getting much sleep, wondering, oh, is this the day or is this the moment? Is this the hour that this thing, this event is going to happen where I lose the one that I love dearly? You know, I've been through it all, and I've done it three times. <laughs> so you can imagine how much I've been through and what I've witnessed. Um, but for this family, this is probably, I don't know, maybe the first that they've ever witnessed of this. 
and it's a young man. It's not someone that's in the sixties, like or eighties, like I had to deal with. You know, because you can make an argument and say someone in their sixties or eighties is more well off to die than a young thirty-year-old man. Um. But it's never nice seeing the ones you love go out in a horrible way. Suffering, you know, it's horrible. It's horrible. And I can understand to a degree of what it's like for Daniel when he says he can't really eat anymore. Like, I'm not on solids anymore myself due to my health condition. I won't really go into that. But I can understand how that feels, you know. I can understand to a great degree what that feels like, being a young man, having that stuff happen to you. It's not fun. It doesn't feel nice. And it's a tough battle. But at the end of the day, you know, we're all here for you. All of us supporters are here, you know. it's I'm a, I'm a little bit... I'm, if I'm going to be honest, I'm a bit worried because... As a few days go by, like usually Daniel likes to upload very regularly, right? So Daniel used to, um, not used to, he usually likes to upload very regularly. And um, he hasn't been able to do that in a while because he's been very, very ill. And, um, you know, it's it's been tough on him. So he's been getting tired and this battle's been getting hard on him and, you know, I'm pretty sure that he said in posts, I'm not afraid to die sort of thing. Um, but he also doesn't want to give up. But this battle's getting hard for him. I guess what we've all got to understand at the end of the day, if it gets too hard for him and he needs to go and be at peace and we're going to have to be accepting of that, but... Um, you know, I will always, um, uh, support Daniel as much as I can and always root for him to overcome any obstacle that he wants to overcome, no matter how far gone it may seem, no matter how tough it may look. Um, because sometimes you've got to do the seemingly impossible and just hope and pray and believe in a miracle, you know. I don't want to give Daniel false hope. I don't want to do that. But this guy just shocked me. For his whole journey so far, he shocked me. Because he's the one guy that I thought could definitely beat this thing. Like, if anyone could beat cancer, it was Daniel, I think. You know, it's just, it's shocking because he had a marriage, he did all this stuff, you know, part of me was thinking, oh, okay, he's probably doing the marriage now and wanting to do it very sudden and quickly because he's worried he's going to go soon, you know. That's, that's part of what I thought in my head. You know, I was like, oh, damn, you know, it's probably part of it was because he's probably worried he's going to really go soon, and then not long after the mar marriage, he's in hospice. So, I don't know if that was going on in his head or what was, but at least he got to get married, you know. Um, I don't know what's going to happen with his wife. I don't know how she's going to cope with this. I don't know, man. It's like... There's his wife, his, there's his mum and dad. You know, it's it's a real hard one. It's a tough one to really comprehend at the end of the day of how they're going to deal with it. But if I'm going to be honest with you, because I've been through this experience of losing the loved ones, in this type of fashion, there will be a bit of an emptiness there for a while. And it will be hard to get over. I'm not being a... I don't want to be a doom and gloom type person. I'm just saying the truth. You know, if you've got someone you love and they're passing and they're not feeling well and they're going downhill rapidly, um, it's very hard. It's, it's an empty feeling when you've lost them. 
because it's you know there's their presence and then when the presence isn't there anymore it's it's a void and an emptiness in yourself that you just don't know how to refill at least for a, a long while it took me a while to at least feel like I could get back to normal life again and um you know, focus on things other than where is my loved one, where is my loved one, that sort of thing. You're going to probably be stuck in a bit of a thing for a while going, oh, where is my Dan, where is my Dan, you know. And that's going to be totally understandable. Uh, I don't know what I can say to make anything better or easier. All I can say is don't give up and don't give in, you know, and do the best that you can. Do the best that you can for Daniel, but also for Daniel. Me speaking to Daniel here. Do the best that you can for yourself, Daniel, you know, just think positive. Cherish the moments that you have. And to his family, cherish the moments that you have also. Hold him dear to your heart. And, you know... You never know when you're going to lose someone. You never know. You need to hold those moments dear to your heart. And you need to carry them with you. It's something that we all need to do. Even if we don't have someone dying of cancer, we really need to cherish the ones we love. It really puts things into perspective. I had a friend that, um, you know, recently, uh, well, I have friends that work at a local cinema and they have a, uh, their father died, and the funeral, I think, is actually coincidentally tomorrow. And, um, you know, they were talking about how this sort of thing puts things into perspective of how you need to really hold dear the ones that you love, and just material possessions and things of the world need to just go to the side. Um, so, yeah. I, I would really hold on to that. I would really hold on to that and grasp that and just keep hold of it. Anyway, much love to Daniel and um, all of his followers. I'm sure you're all worried too. I'm sure you're probably all wondering when the next update's going to come and I'm probably sure that you're all like, oh, damn, damn, where's Daniel, you know? Yeah, like, it's, it's understandable because I've felt the same way and I've been sort of sitting here going, oh, you know, when's Daniel going to, when's the next update going to come, you know, and I've been a bit, a bit worried at times thinking, oh shit, you know, it's been two days, is it really going down now, is he, you know, um, and I've had stuff like that going on in my head, so I, I try to keep positive and I, I do pray, I don't know if you followers of his do believe in God or not, or believe in positive energy like that um but i do ask you followers if you really care about daniel and you really really love the guy um put him in your thoughts and prayers uh, i'm sure you already do I, I don't really need to say that you know if you have been following daniel and i've seen the comments on there you guys really do love him and care about him um so you're probably already doing that a lot um but yeah, I just thought I needed to say that anyway, just to <laughs> reinforce a positive message. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm I'm waiting for the next update, as as you all are anyway. As for Daniel, don't feel forced or rushed to update us all. You know, you're going through a tough time right now, so um, and the family as well, so that they. Eventually, we'll come out with something. Um, who knows? The next update might be from his brother saying, oh, "Sorry, we've, you know, lost him," or you know, it might be Daniel saying, "I'm still here. I'm still battling." <laughs> Knowing Daniel, it might be that way. He's strong. He's a he's a freaking crazy strong man. You know, I've seen some of his posts on Instagram. There's sometimes I've thought to myself, "Oh damn, he's gone now." And then he'll say things like, he'll he'll have a video and he'll be short of breath and he'll be like, I'm still here. And it's like, my God, how does this guy still fight? And how is he still here? When he can't eat anymore, when he can't do this, he's a freaking...
freaking machine. He's a freaking machine. Um, and that's one reason why I thought this guy definitely can beat this thing. Because he's withstanded way more than he needed to. Anyway, that's that's one thing I want to say. Is that I have a high amount of respect and love for this guy. Because of what he's been through. And, you know, he's just amazing. He's amazing. No one will, will ever be like Dan. Like, no one on this YouTube journey that I've seen of cancer. I haven't followed a journey like that. And seen it to its completion and thought, wow, you know. What courage, what strength, you know, I've seen other people that have had cancer on their journey, blah, blah, blah. Like, that young girl, she had it, but she went rapidly and she went down. Daniel stood in his fort for a long time. And, uh, that I can respect. Because I know what that's like. All too well. Anyway. Peace. Send some love to Daniel. And, um... Go to his Instagram, it's at Peewee Toms, and um, give him some love, messages, comments, all the love you can give, even on his videos, comment. Spam it with love, likes, favourites, comments, anything. Give this guy the loving support that he needs. Peace.